Freddy, you Enid uniforms, entering Enid uniform, helm, Fred, current color rush selected. Blake, you Freddy. Enter, water, Blake, time option, escape, Blake, water, 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 water length option, water length option is set to 3 minutes. Hey everybody, it's the coach. Welcome to the special Saturday edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Straight ahead, we've got a terrific matchup on tap between the Baltimore Ravens and the Pittsburgh Steelers. So with that, let's get you up to Heinz Field in Pittsburgh. Standing by for the call. Okay, coach, we are at the confluence of the Ohio, Allegheny, and Monongahela Rivers at Heinz Field in Pittsburgh, PA. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Baltimore Ravens and the Pittsburgh Steelers. This is taken at his four. This is Mark Ingram. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback, and no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. On second down, it's Ingram. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. And now he spiked it on third down. I don't know if he heard a whistle. There was no whistle. He just got up and spiked it. So on fourth down, here's Sam Cook to punt it away. Fielded at the 33. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Good blocking there. Nearly sprung him as it is. It'll go as a 19-yard return. And the Steeler offense, they're set up nicely as they take over. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Throwing now, Roethlisberger on first down. Got an open man, it's Washington. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Good work after the catch, gets him 15 and a first down. On first down, it's Roethlisberger. Being chased out left. And he's got his man, the tight end, McDonald. No gain there on the completion, second and ten. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Looking to throw again on second down. Roethlisberger, complete to Washington. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 14. First and 10 at the 14-yard line. From the red zone now, here's Roethlisberger on first down. And yes, complete to the tight end, McDonald. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. We're scoreless after one. Second quarter action from Pittsburgh. It is the Steelers in control of the football as they're looking at a second down and nine to go. To throw again on second down. Roethlisberger 
Flushed out right. And it's complete. He gets this one to Washington. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down for a nice little game. And he'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Roethlisberger now to throw on third down. Dancing to his left. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. The improvisation gets him only a couple, but that's all he needed. First down. Now that's disappointing for the defense. They had the advantage, had excellent coverage all over the field, but they let him get away, scramble, and pick up a first down and inside the five-yard line. A reminder coming up at halftime, we'll check in with our Jonathan Coachman. He'll have highlights and analysis of the first half, and our highlights will likely be on the defensive side of the football here. Scoreless game. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. It is definitely hard to find space near the goal line. You always want to have a guy in the game running it who can create his own. They'll try to run it. This is Connor. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. Line of scrimmage at the four. Here's third and goal. Well, now they'll try the end around. And just shy of the goal line as he's out of bounds right at the one. This defense bending but not breaking. It's a gain of three. It's now fourth and goal. It went for broke on third down, and it would have really lit up the sideline if that one had worked. What do they do now on fourth down? Boswell's kick is good. And we have action on the scoreboard just before halftime. It's 3-0. So still no touchdowns in the first half, but we do have some action on the scoreboard with the field goal. So maybe now the mentality changes in this game because anytime you can get to the red zone and if you don't come away with six points, you feel like it's a disappointment. In a game like this one, being able to kick field goals means you're right there and then you're just looking for that big break to take you over the top. Get ready, get ready. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And now the clock reads precisely one minute to go in the half. You want to run the one-minute offense? This is a good test right here. It certainly is, and definitely not a time to think about kneeling and going into the half. This is a chance to attack a little bit, but not having to get everything in one shot either. 10 yards here, 15 there. Work the sidelines, work the clock. Give yourself a chance for at least a field goal going into the half. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Bud Dupree. Entering pause screen for Z call to mount. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. On third down, Jackson. And that is incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly. Right. And they're going to fake it from deep in their own territory. Going absolutely nowhere. He'll wind up losing a yard or two. A little trickeration there, but it doesn't fool this defense. And boy, possession here turns over with the football already being in the red zone. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Juju Smith-Schuster, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Now it's Roethlisberger. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the right hash, just a 34-yard attempt. And Boswell's kick is good. And that will add three more to their lead. It pushes it up to six. So a capper there to a pretty good first half. And I love the way that they put a chokehold on the clock. 
and pretty much drained everything before they put the field goal on the board as they headed into the half. Fielded about a yard deep. So a couple of field goals, that's all we've been able to muster through two quarters of play. 6-0 is our... All right, hang on, we'll jump over halftime. And how about this line out of the locker room? An onside kick attempt. So time for the second half as the Steelers have the lead and they will also be receiving the football here to start the third quarter. A very interesting call and one that backfires. I know they're losing Charles, but boy, to start the second half with the onside kick, risky. Felt like a sense of urgency from their side, coupled with you and I both know the special teams coordinators. They sell their key plays each and every week to the head coach, don't they? And I guarantee he's been selling this one. We can get it, coach. We can get it. And that came together with that sense of urgency you talked about. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Buying time to his left. He's got the tight end, Vanette. Sheds a second man. He's building up some momentum, isn't he? And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. I think that should have been chalked up as a winning play for the defense, and they somehow beat it, didn't they? Right-handed quarterback flushed to his left, yet he finds his tight end on the left side of the field. That's a tough throw. What a great completion. Underneath pass here to Van Ant, and the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. It'll be a loss of one, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage, even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. All things considered, a pretty good kick. Just cruel punishment there to be denied by the crossbar. If you're going to hit from that distance, sometimes you're going to need a little luck. And unfortunately for him, this time, the break goes against him. On first and ten, it's Jackson. Open man is the tight end, Nick Boyle. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. That one good for 13 and a Raven first down. Now Jackson on first down. He's going to find his tight end, Boyle. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. 10 yards there, good enough for a Raven first down. Back to back, good plays, have them on the move on first down. Now it's Jackson. Eluding the pressure right. He's gonna take off with it. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Opted to run for it, the decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. Took till the second half, but finally a red zone opportunity here. They've got a first and 10 at the 17. Stepping up, he'll try and run. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. The best quarterbacks that ever played the game all wanted to blend in with their teammates and be one of the guys. But sometimes you got to take modesty and put it aside. You're the franchise quarterback, the face of the team, and the guy that leads them to victory. You have to get down and protect. Oh, no, he lost the football. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. One man in the backfield. That's Ingram on second and goal. Under pressure now, and he's going to go down just inside the five-yard line. Javon Hargrave, the D-tackle, getting the sack. The Steeler defense proving its mettle here. And now this is third and goal. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. They face a critical third and goal now. It got a man, it's caught for a Ravens touchdown. Nick Boyle 
there to make the grab as they are now just an extra point away from taking the lead here in the final two minutes. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. And oh, he takes off with it. It's a fake. And his fake extra point attempt failed big time. Not only did they not get it, they went backwards. A tough outcome there. This late in the fourth quarter, all they needed, Charles, was the extra point to get the lead. They gambled for two. And it backfired. Do you think maybe there was a little bit of a brain cramp there? Because remember, the rule was put in in 2015 that all PAT attempts would start at the 15-yard line. Makes your fake a lot more difficult. No doubt about it. It made it permanent in 2016. Sometimes that old-school thinking still comes into play because, remember, they used to snap it, what, at the three-yard line be before. Like now 20. forget it. I mean, they're snapping it from the two if you want to go for two. They lined up to get the extra point. That's a long way to go. They weren't successful getting it done. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Roethlisberger will throw. He'll find Smith-Schuster, that's complete. Seven yards there and a first down. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. On first down, counter plowing ahead for about three. It'll be second and seven. Patrick Onwasor up to make the tackle. They'll stay on the ground with Connor again. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. On third down, it's Connor. And an alley to run. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. Third and medium, they opted to run instead of pass, and it worked. First down. On first and 10 is Connor. And they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now... In this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Roethlisberger will hand to Connor. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Four yards the pickup, first down. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. Now Ben going to give this one. Entering Austin. And get the timeout called here. It comes with one second remaining on the clock. So on now for the field goal try, Chris Boswell. The clock showing just one tick. This for the win. And now we'll get a timeout here. They're able to stop it with one second to go in this game. So on now for the field goal try, Chris Boswell. The clock showing just one tick. This for the win. And it's off the left upright. Oh my goodness, heartache. It's no good. It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. This is fielded at the goal line. 
And his guys are going to start their drive right at the 20-yard line. Let's go! Let's go! Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. They're set for their first drive here in overtime, and this is where the crowd can really become a factor. They've had to battle it all day, but I know Jackson hit, and he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Steelers. So they will set up shop excellent field position in the red zone at the 19-yard line. And a costly, costly mistake. Coaches talk so much about ball security and in overtime so paramount. Partner, do you ever wonder if maybe they talk about it too much? Too much, yeah. It doesn't seem like you can, but maybe by discussing it time and time again, and you know they overemphasized it here, it almost became self-fulfilling. And any points beat them here. Field goal or a touchdown now. Well, we thought this game would be a good one. It did not disappoint into overtime, and it took the field goal to win it. And we always pay lip service to how important it is to play defense. And usually we focus on the big offensive pyrotechnics, right? But in this case, they got the ball back on defense, gave themselves a chance, and they capitalized on it with a victory. And I don't care what distance that field goal's from in overtime. The knees are always knocking, but he pushed it through. <laughs> Not only that, think about your snapper, your holder. A lot of nerves for them, too, because they have to do their job in order to give him one last chance to put a foot to it. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been Coast watching the NFL on EA Sports.